everyone in today's video i wanted to share all of my skincare favorites for 2020 i'm so glad that you guys liked my previous video where i shared all my favorite makeup today i am headed right now to my bathroom where i do all my skincare and i'm just gonna quickly pick everything up and share everything that i used so i made it to my bathroom and you can actually see pretty much most of the products it is a mess and i feel like this video will give me an excuse to actually organize everything as well uh but you can pretty much see most of the stuff let me know if you already recognize a few things so i have everything in here let's start because there's a lot for me to discuss and i'm going to try and keep it in the order of the way i use my skincare so let's start with makeup remover of course i love my clinique take the day off balm i have used that for years but this year i have thoroughly enjoyed using this one from bobby brown uh, this is a makeup melter and cleanser as you can see i've completely almost used this up and it's really nice it's very soft uh, comes out as a foam and maybe i can even show how it works so i have like uh, this eyeliner in here so i've taken a little bit of the foam and then you just do this and it just melts all of your makeup off I also love how creamy it leaves my skin and it does not really dry the skin and I love that it removes all of my waterproof makeup as well and I think this is a great makeup remover. For face wash, I have used a lot of my Kiehl's Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash. I love this face wash. I have loved it for years and I think it just works so well for my skin. And I've also used a lot of the Innisfree Green Barley Bubble Cleanser. This used to be in my shower. Again, this is completely over. Um, I need to throw this away. The reason why I like this is because the foam cleansed my skin really well without drying my skin i haven't used a lot of toner this year last year uh, but i did use a lot of these water like essences the first one that i wanted to mention is this one from cos rx this is their bha blackhead power liquid so this is a liquid with tons of bha uh, which is beta hydroxy acid and uh, more commonly known as salicylic acid so this really helps in cleaning out your pores if you have lots of blackheads whiteheads and if you have oily skin this really helps in controlling the sebum on your face and i think this is a great um, alcohol free formula and then i also used a lot of my l'oreal revitalift crystal micro essence i genuinely really enjoyed using this i think the water like texture was so easy to use um, i loved how it made my skin look it really brightened up my skin uh, a lot of you um, are actually a little worried about using this because of the alcohol in it which is completely under understandable so please understand what your skin is like and use products that work for you another product with bha that i really enjoyed using is from paula's choice this is their two percent bha liquid exfoliant and i've also used quite a bit of this later part of the year and i really like it i think i'm going to do like a separate full review on this just this product and another product that i really like that has bha in it is from dr shed i love this product i use this as a spot treatment for acne this is their neem and bha spot clarifying serum you can even use this on your nose or wherever you have blackheads or texture and use it as a mask and then wash it off so it's very multi-purpose and i really love the ingredients in this speaking of spot treatments i love my mario Badescu drying lotion i love this if i have a very pesky acne that just does not budge this just dries it up in one night you have to check this out let's Let's move on to serums i have a lot of empties from dr shed i love love their skincare products all of their products work so well for my skin uh, this is the rose hip and retinoid power emulsion i have been using this every other day for over two months now and i love this this is completely over i barely have anything left in it uh, this is such a good potent uh, product with retinol in it and if you want to begin using retinol in your skincare 
skincare, you can definitely check this out. Then I have another product that is completely over. There's barely anything left. Uh, this is Dr. Shedd's Sika and Ceramide Serum. This is their overnight repair serum. I love, love, love this. It is so calming on my skin. It has ceramide so that really helps in repairing your skin. It has Sika which is very uh, gentle and calming on your skin. So the combination of this, I use this every single night which is why uh, this is completely over and I'm definitely repurchasing this. Next I have the Dr. Shed the Extra Gentle Daily Peel. I love love this so much i think this is if i were to pick just one skincare favorite then this would be it i have used up so many bottles of this this has ahas in it and uh, this just helps in brightening up your skin if your skin is not used to ahas then please try this uh, with caution you can use it just for five minutes once it starts tingling uh, just go ahead and wash it with water and then slowly get your skin used to AHAs and BHA uh, and then start using it only in the night um, two times a week or three times a week alternate days and don't mix it with your retinol products or vitamin C so what this does is that it gently exfoliates your skin which reveals brighter more even skin and your skin looks so radiant and so soft and the texture kind of really goes away and this has something that has completely changed the way my skin looks those were my dr shed's favorite and now i have a few more serums that i really love i love the innisfree green tea seed serum this is supremely hydrating and very very light so you can layer and layer and layer this up depending on how much hydration you need and i love that this works on almost all skin type and it gives you that glass like finish so you can also use this uh, before you do your makeup to kind of prep your skin and give yourself that beautiful like yoga skin uh, you can also use the Frisali Unicorn Essence. It pretty much does the exact same thing. This has more of a shimmery uh, particles in it. So I feel like this is like a cusp of skincare and makeup. You can use this on the high points of your face and use this to kind of prep your skin before you do your makeup. And then you can also use the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair uh, as something to really hydrate your skin. I love using this in the night. And again, something that I've used up a lot. And you, again, something that you can use to prep your skin before you do your makeup you can genuinely see the difference uh, of the way your skin looks after you start using this it has hyaluronic acids which is very very hydrating and another one of my favorite night serum is from forest essential I love like wholeheartedly honestly love 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 or just balm this is one of the best treatments I've used it is so relaxing. I love the texture of it. I love using this in the night. You wake up with such plump, dewy, soft, rejuvenated skin. Every time I use this, I just like fall in love with it even more. I can't wait to get one more of this and finish that up as well. So those were all of the serums. Let's move on to eye cream. I love this one from Clinique. This is their Moisture Surge Eye 96 Hour Hydro Filler. I love how this makes my eyes look um, it's very very hydrating and also really helps in taming my um, under eye bags I really get those especially on days that I've um, hadn't had like too much water and haven't slept much as well and I've been drinking too much coffee it really makes my under eye look alive and I also love this one uh, from M caffeine and this is their coffee under eye cream I love using caffeine especially on days that I have very puffy eyes and I feel like this really helps in debuffing my eyes and I also really have enjoyed using for Sally Haldi eye um, this has haldi in it so it has like this slight uh, yellow tinge to it and also a little bit of like a shimmery particle in it so you know I feel like once I use this to prep my under eye my makeup glides on really well so I would say that this works really well as a base for your eyes before you do your makeup because the yellow tinge in it also helps in cutting out any darkness that you might have underneath the eyes moving on to moisturizer I found it really hard to kind of cut down to just three. First up we have this true cream moisturizing balm from belief I absolutely 
love this i have used so many tubs of it and i find this to be such a good gentle moisturizer that works well for all skin type it has such a soft cushiony finish and i feel like belief truly makes it some of the best moisturizers I also rediscovered my love for the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I believe this also has Sika in it and it is this beautiful blue cream uh, which I feel works really well as a night cream. I have used this a lot especially in the night and it is very moisturizing and very calming on my skin and this is a recent favorite but I have used up a lot of it and this is the Murad Hydration Nutrient Charm water gel I love this moisturizer it is so good for my skin it is one of the most long lasting moisturizers I've used it literally I can still feel it in my face when I'm washing my face in the morning after I've used it in the night and it is very lightweight so it works very well if you have the oily to combination skin and it just like makes your skin so plump and hydrated I love love this i actually um really like this as well their bitter sea glycolic brightening serum i know this is one of their most iconic products and i am really enjoying using this however i haven't used this for far too long so i didn't include this with my serums but definitely a special mention to this because it's really nice next i have this uh clay mask from innisfree that you guys have already heard me speak so much about this is the Innisfree super volcanic pore clay mask and this has AHA in it it has volcanic ash in it and I think this just works really well for my skin and I use it like once fortnightly or once a week and it really helps in declogging my skin and really deeply cleansing it and also it soaks up all of the excess sebum from my face and then another mask that I really like but I don't have it with me because I've already used it up is the Forest Essential Sheet Masks. Oh my god, they're so so good. And I also really love the Face Shop Solution Sheet Masks. Next up, we have sunscreen. These are my two favorite sunscreens. I love this. I have used this my entire year this time. This is the Aven Clenens sunscreen SPF 50 plus. I love this. So lightweight, no white cast, high coverage, works very well for oily acne prone skin. I also love the Aven face wash, the Clenens face wash. So nice, mild, it does not have any um, fragrance in it and such a good sunscreen and face wash. And next I have been loving the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer sunscreen for the longest time I would like close my eyes and recommend this and please wear sunscreen even if you are staying indoors just wear sunscreen every single day as the last step of your skincare and it can be like the first step of your makeup okay and lastly for Le Balm my two favorites this is the Nukes Rev de Miel I feel like I talk about this Le Balm every single year this is the new packaging I got this when I was traveling I buy like several pots of it because I can't not have this with me I quite love love the finish the matte effect like the matte finish and um, how soft and buttery it is on my lips and of course I love the Laneige lip sleeping mask this is one of my favorites and I'm glad that they have other variants now as well this is the berry one you have other flavors that you can try to and I have had this for so long and it's going strong I'm pretty sure I can still use this for like a few more months and uh, this is a very long lasting very very um, hydrating lip balm I know it says like a sleeping mask but I use it entire day and when you use it in the night it stays on till the morning for me and I love it so I think that pretty much sums up all of my skincare favorites for 2020 I really hope you guys enjoyed this this was one of my most requested videos so yeah that's it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe because there are more favorites coming your way I will be doing my hair and body favorites next so please subscribe so that you don't miss out on that and I will see you super soon bye